My dear friend. <laughs> what troubles you? Edith. Execution? How could it have come to this? I mean, I'm sorry. Edith, I don't know what to say. It's all right, my dear friend. But I'd hoped to bring better news once we'd received word from His Holiness. Gibson and the Spanish minister are kicking up a real fuss to help you at the war ministry. And, but it appears that things are moving too quickly or too slowly. I, I'm not sure. I'm helpless, I'm so sorry. All right, Father, please come sit. I am sorry, my child. I know we must have faith. I should be giving you comfort and guidance, but instead I find myself jabbering and shaking like a newly appointed acolyte giving his first communion. <laughs> we must remain hopeful. There are letters of outrage pouring in from all over the world and there is much political influence being exerted and the Germans would be fools to follow out the sentence. It would be barbaric and... Tell me something, Horace. Talk to me. Tell me something from somewhere far away from here and this cell. What news from the front? Have you visited the hospital? Are my nurses doing well? Are they coping? The war goes on, and I fear it will be a long time before it is done. And the men in the trenches get younger by the week. I am scared, E.D. I don't know what is to come. And my nurses? Your ladies are fine. You trained them well. And they want you to know that they pray for you. They all do, the nurses and the patients, English, French, Belgian, and even the German wounded that you helped. I've seen them. They all pray for you. I am glad they are well. I alone must pay the recompense for my actions. It is a difficult lot for a woman at war, and I believe the worst is yet to come. Tell them I'm proud of all of them. Tell them when the darkness comes and they are scared. Tell them to remember their vow and to remember their duty to their country above all else. They are all braver than they know. You are the bravest of us all, my child. And a true patriot. All those poor souls you hid and helped escape, and then you end up in here. You still surprise me with your courage. What possible reason could you have to smile? The last few years have been a very busy, difficult and strange time. In all honesty, I've been very grateful for the last ten weeks of peace and rest. It has given me time to think. I have had a lot to be grateful for in my life. This war has taught me that. I now realise patriotism is not enough. I must harbour no bitterness or hatred towards any man in my heart. And as for reasons to smile, I can think of 200 reasons, my friend. Edie, you are a fine woman and will be remembered for far more than your incredible bravery. But even you must be afraid of what may come. I do fear what is to come. Yes, but not for me. 
I have no fear nor shrinking. I have seen death too often for it to be strange or fearful. I must have no regrets. My only thoughts now are of my loved ones. Please, if you could, tell them I thought of them. You will see them again in the kingdom of our Father. Let us pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, thy be, will done be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this, this day our daily bread, and, and forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Abide with me. Abide with me.